What's up my fellow dorks? It is the Turtle Dork back again with a new trailer reaction. Uh, looks like there is a new trailer for Ghost in the Shell starring the one, the only, the incomparable Scarlett Johansson. Yes. Alright, so this I believe might be the final trailer since the movie comes out and a little over probably like a month and a half. Um, I'm interested to see what this new trailer um, is going to show. Uh, the anime movie, now I don't know if this is really kind of based, I think they'll probably take stuff from the anime movie, stuff from the manga, and maybe some other stuff from maybe some of the other sequels and other, um, uh, like the series and stuff like that. So to kind of tell this full story, because I just rewatched the original movie, and it's not a very long movie, so I don't think this will be a direct adaptation of just that particular story. So I want to see what else they incorporate to kind of flesh out the story of Major and this character. So let's go ahead and uh, check it out in the Framblin. someone down there. He wasn't human. He's a known terrorist. And he's killed again. They didn't just kill them. They hacked into their minds. It was everywhere. Nowhere. I will find him. I wonder if it's the and puppet, kill him. The puppet master. I don't remember much. It was fragments. There was an attack. You were dying. We saved you. And now you save others. Everything they told you was a lie. You had a family. Remember that. Definitely looks like they're kind of um, fleshing out the story a little bit from that original movie. We get a little bit more of her backstory about, you know, how she became the major, how she became this android. Um, but yeah, no, that looks damn good, man. And Rupert Sanders, the last movie he made was Snow White and the Huntsman, which was, let's face it, a bad movie. But that movie was visually stunning, so he definitely made his mark as um, as a very vi a, a, a visual director who really understands visual effects, who understands cinematography, and to bring his style into this world, you can definitely see that in this trailer. Thanks, Scarlett Johansson, of course. Um, I mean, outside of like everything that people are saying about you know the whitewashing of everything. I don't want to get too deep into that, but look, if the director of the original anime is accepting of her as this role, then I'm okay with it. I mean, I think we do kind of uh, need a little bit more diversity, and, you know, in a perfect world, this would have been a great opportunity to bring in somebody like Arinko Kikuchi, um, I think that's her name, um, or somebody of Asian descent. But I understand why they chose uh, Scarlett Johansson, and it is what it is, but 
I think she's going to. I think she's going to be pretty good in, in this role. Um, everything else, I think, looks uh, fantastic. But um, yeah, man. I mean, just. I mean, the trailer itself, I think, is really uh, is able to kind of bring people who aren't familiar with um, the original anime, uh, which is a good thing, because that's what you want to do, is kind of bring in new viewers, and not just the diehard fans who know this, um, but try to get people who don't know anything about it. And I think this trailer does a good job of really kind of... Um, really kind of uh, bringing people in but anyway go ahead and let me know what you think uh, in the comments below go ahead rate like subscribe share and go ahead and check out my other dorks at mouth dork at the disco dork and at sidewalk siren and go ahead and follow and listen to our podcast you can find us on twitter at it Modcast. and for me i am the turtle dork and with that i'm out